Hello everyone again, and welcome back. Uh, this is another FFT Arena match that Anima Zero requested. Uh, his team is on top. His team is known as the Raging Monk. And today he's facing Roni Elmdor's team, uh, Steel Order of the Basilisk, I believe. So to jump right in here, we have Spiral the Monk. Uh, Crusher the Chemist. Ash the Bard and Maya the Mediator. Okay, so take a look real quick. We've got a uh, Mad Monk here basically, a Salty Rage for Always Berserk. Black Costume Chakra Band, um, Punch Art, Basic Skill, just a few abilities in case he does get his Salty Rage stolen. Dragon Spirit so he'll keep coming back. Um, Warpath so he'll only get stronger as the match goes on, and Save the Queen will help him be a little bit more defensive uh, as, you know, for because of that. Um, yeah, so decent HP, uh, decent power. Um, yeah, so we will see how that goes. Uh, this is a chemist here, a pretty basic chemist. He just has Masamune Kiyomori, a few items. Platina Dagger, um, this is presumably so in case the monk does hit somebody, uh, the chemist could possibly go up and whack him. I think the chemist is going to be more interested in using Kiyomori, but um, if he uses Kiyomori, um, you know, first and the enemy already is under that affliction, then he'll go for uh, a Platina Dagger Smack. Um, the uh, Setiem Sun um, and Defense Up, just to be a lot more defensive. Um, Thief Hat for an extra point of speed. So, and Fly just to get around the map easier. This is a bard. Um, he a uh, draw out bard. So you guys know what these guys. You guys know how these guys are. Um, magic tech up. I may save. This guy is really strong to start off with, and will only get stronger. I like Ori Kalkum and Red Shoes. That helps him get right up close to the enemy. But if this guy comes at you, um, his magic tech up drawouts are gonna do a lot of damage. Um, yeah. Uh, Possibly around 200 um, with Cheery. Yeah, so a 200 damage Cheery is going to hurt. Um, and this guy can easily get in range. So watch for that. Finally, we've got a Mediator here. A uh, couple of talk skills. Um, white Magic, just like Raise 2, Cure 2, Asuna. Um, Robe of Lords, Defense Ring. Just so you know, that's double protection from silence. Um, maybe a, a light robe would be a little bit better, um, but it's not really a big deal. Um, because the Robe of Lords does grant a lot of MP, which might be what you're going for, which is fine too. Um, finger Guard, just to prevent um, further status. Uh, yeah, that's that's interesting, Finger Guard. Um, just because she does, is wearing the defense ring, but still it will protect against, like, blackmail, stop, um, and somebody's carrying, like, uh, solution, um, you know, that, that could affect her white magic, uh, you know, it will help prevent against those. So, pretty good ideas here, um, pretty much the game plan is just, uh, heavy offense, uh, mediator's there to disrupt, but the other, th well, specifically this guy and this guy, the monk and the bard will be causing most of the damage. The chemist will just be supporting and possibly finishing enemies off with the platina dagger. And this girl's just there for support of the team. Um, moving on to Rooney Elmdor's team, we have Sabi the Ninja, Zero the Samurai, Pi the Needle the Oracle, and Crystal Viper the Oracle. Okay, so starting with this ninja here, equip armor ninja. Um, I don't believe he has any ninjutsus. I, I believe he just has a few basic skills, um, which he'll, uh, accumulate. Um, equip armor, uh, which is interesting. Reflect mail and crystal helmet. Crystal helmet does prevent, don't act. Reflect mail, um, probably just to increase the oracle's range, um, as we'll get to in a minute. Um, power wrist, just for a little bit of evade and a little extra power. Um, yeah, so this guy, this guy will be, uh, 
running around, basically hitting people. Um, interesting, you had a quite a bit of JP left on this guy. Um, so, I don't know, like, uh, just as a suggestion, maybe like Shuriken, just before he gets in range, or, um, you know, even throw a stone, uh, just to do a little bit of disruption of mages or something. Um, might have been helpful, but it's your call, really. I mean, maybe you don't want him using those abilities, so that's fine, too, I guess. Um, caution, if he does, if he does get targeted, um, caution will, uh, you know, double his evade, so that'll be nice, because he does have a lot of physical evade. Uh, we got a samurai here, um, draw out black magic. She has a few black magics, Murasame, and I believe Masamune. Um, Magitek up. I believe she just has, like, fire and ice and frog. Um, I would have personally just thrown, like, bolt or nether bolt on her, just because you do have those abilities, or you did have the JP remaining for that, and she does have a black robe, so it would have been perfect. Um, you know, so I would have just thrown one of those on her, just, you know, in case the enemy, because, like, fire shield, jade armlet, or, uh, Ice Shield and uh, Defense Armlet are a really popular combo. So, like, just to just to have that extra, you know, spell at her disposal would be, you know, probably a little bit helpful for you. But anyway, it, it's not a huge deal. Um, Pilgrimage she'll only get stronger as the match goes on. MP Restore to, uh, you know, if she does get hit, it'll uh, bring back all of her MP. Uh, pretty good stuff here. And finally, we've got a set of mostly twin oracles. One of them has Shell 2, one of them has Protect 2. They both have the Papyrus Plate. And as you can see, one has Defense Up, one has Magic Defend Up. So one of them's more physically tanky, the other one's a little bit more magically tanky. Um, and Defense Ring to prevent nasty status. Uh, these girls only have Petrify. Um... And for white magics, they have, like, I think, like, raise 2, cure 2, Suna. Um, damage split, so they're, like, you know, they're very tanky. Move MP up, so, you know, they won't run out of MP as the match goes on. Um, Papyrus Plate will trigger, I believe, Flare, I think. Um, so that's helpful. Uh, they don't have a ton of MA, but still, it will do some damage. It will do some decent damage. Um, yeah, so... That is uh, Ruoni Elmdor's team. Um, so basically, two pretty balanced teams here. Um, who will win? You know, I really don't know who has the advantage here. They both have a pretty good offense, but uh, RNG is going to take us to map 63 for our first one round, Golgoran Execution Site. Good luck to the both of you as we come to this map here. Medium-sized map, so... I think Anima Zero's team's a little bit faster, so he might get targeted first in this map. Ninja does nothing. It's funny to see ninjas do nothing, just because you're so used to them, like, seeing, seeing them, like, run up and... Chemists get slowed. Mediator does get petrified. Bard does guard the petrify, though. Oop, and this cherry's gonna hurt. Yeah, 225 damage to that oracle. And no damage split, either. So, they're probably going to have to heal a little bit. And what is she going for? Probably shell too. Ooh. Don't act on the oracle. Shell two does hit everyone, but that bard is down right now. Oil and faith on the monk. Mediator's gonna fall back and go for raise. Another petrify. Being charged here. Monk does go down, but he has re raised, so he'll get back up and probably whack the samurai. Mediator does get petrified again. 
Kotetsu takes them both out. And the samurai, so that oracle is by herself now. 4v1. She's gonna try to raise the samurai. Maybe not the best idea. Probably would have been better to raise her oracle buddy instead, but... That's the AI for you. She is pretty tanky, so that cheery won't hurt quite as much. And there's a example of the dumb AI. Stop does miss. That samurai is just going to go for more uh, damage here. Bard does get hit with an ice, but he does receive an X potion, so he'll be back on the offensive soon. That oracle is back in the fight now. Oracle isn't critical. And that oracle is stopped, so... Uh, Anima Zero should be taking round one soon here. Bard does go down, but... No, that oracles don't act it, so even if she does get, you know, stopped, or, excuse me, come out of stop, she still won't be able to do very much. Samurai goes down, ninja crystallizes, yeah. 12 damage bag smack is not going to do much. But this bard will when he gets a turn. Yeah, 225 damage, she can't take another one of those. Stop just to add insult to injury. And Bard's gonna finish the job. So Anima Zero does take round one. And welcome back to round two, everybody. Round one, um... Once the damage started piling on... For Anima Zero, um... Roni Elmdor just couldn't come back from it. Um, so we'll see if round two is any different. Um, this is a much larger map. So the teams will have time to set up and prepare. Where did the bard go? Did he go inside the house? That's interesting. Oh, okay. Anyway. Shell will help against the Bard a little bit, but still, he does a ton of damage, even with Shell. Reflected Petrified does miss the Bard. But Stop does miss the Samurai. So she'll get a chance to uh, do some more damage here. Monk's not quite in range yet. And Mediator's now in critical. Ooh, Kiyomori on the ninja. He's in boat. Pretty big. Mediator does go down. Um, this And this Oracle's gonna try... Wow, 344 damage. Ooh, does petrify the bard this time. Um, yep, that ninja's gonna have to fall back. Ooh, lucky dodge from the mediator. 5% dodge. Possible. Wow. Very, very lucky. This does buy Roni Elmdor some time, though. With that bard petrified. And, ooh, now the monk is petrified. He will get unpetrified, but still. Um, again, that's that does buy time. Bard does get unpetrified now. Uh, 
And Samurai is out of MP, so... She has to resort to uh, Sword Wax. Ninja does guard. Unfortunately, Anima Zero's team can just deal with Petrify so easily. These oracles aren't doing a whole lot. Samurai's MP does come back, though, so that will help out uh, Roroni Elmdor. Along with Murasami. And there's a don't act on the oracle, so she's not getting that Petrify off. Petrify does miss the bard. So he's going to get another turn to just wreck havoc. Ninja does block the monk, though. 85% Petrify on who? Yeah, Bees and Boat. Really proving effective for uh, Anima Zero. And now that Oracle has stopped as well. Bard does go down. That could help. Not a 62 damage dictionary shot, though. That's not very helpful. At least not on that target. Oh, and a crit on the first shot. That is not lucky. And why did he not go for a smack on the Oracle? Why did he not attack her? I don't know, but... Anyway, she looks like she will get that Petrify off. Does hit it. That Oracle don't act it, so she's going to run. And finally, they're targeting the Chemist. Who gets an immediate heal? No flare proc on these uh, book shots yet. She's gonna go for a cure. Ooh, 307 damage. Oh, and the chemist is now in critical. Even though that monk is dead, he does have re-raise, and he will get back up. And Cherry's gonna hurt a lot. Oracle goes down. That Oracle does not get stopped again. And Ninja goes down. Well, if that chemist gets petrified... Why did Mediator go for Backsmack? Why did she not go for Blackmail or something? I don't know. Chemist does get petrified. But that Samurai... It's Samurai, bro. Maybe she'll go down? Yeah. She's going down. Ninja gets brought back, though. Who does bring back the Samurai? That other Oracle may crystallize. Yep, it does indeed look like she's going to crystallize. Unless the ninja can bring her back, but... No, not this time. Roni Elmdor probably would have... ...preferred an attack on the bard. Does poison his own monk, but it's not going to do too much. Oracle goes down. 
So it does look like this is over. Lucky Block is not going to save that samurai. And she just missed her turn, so she's going to go right back down again. Along with some bonus damage on the ninja. Samurai goes down. Does not get put to sleep, but that won't matter. Again, she just missed her turn. But once the bard gets a turn, he's going to knock them both out. Like so. And Anima Zero takes round two. Good game.